I initially wanted to start this vlog. I was thinking of starting it back in like December 2017, doing a big transformation of how I was gonna lose a bunch of weight, but Christmas got the better of me and that didn't happen. It doesn't matter, whatever. Off to Australia, one way flight. Do not have any other flights booked home whatsoever. I'm so excited. And I'm vlogging with dun, da, 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 a GoPro. I very rarely vlog with a GoPro, so we will see how this goes. Let me know if you enjoy it. You probably don't enjoy that at all. But it's cooling. It's a good quality one. Here we go. Passport check. Bye, Mom. Bye, Dad. <laughs> about what my strategy would be in terms of combating the jet lag because I've got an overnight flight and then I have a night in Jakarta, a whole night in Jakarta and then I'm landing in Perth and so my brain can't even comprehend what time my body clock should be on. Anyway, I've decided to get a coffee. That's, that's the decision being made right now so I probably won't be able to sleep for at least the first few hours on this flight. I just love drawing attention to myself at airports. Jakarta. I know when everyone's waiting for you, you feel like a proper celeb, but it turns out no one's actually waiting for you, it's everyone else. Here. I'm staying at the FM7 hotel, so there was a lovely, small, smiley man waiting for me at the airport with my name on, and this is pretty cool. I haven't actually looked in the bathroom yet, but there's apparently an Italian restaurant which is open 24-7, but I think I'm going to order room service. I'm absolutely starving because, miraculously, I literally slept for about 10 hours on that flight, so I watched one movie, fell asleep, and then when I woke up, there was one hour to go off the flight and I, like, I was kind of flabbergasted looking at the map like we've already flown over India? Like what's going on? Not that I'm complaining, like well, I say it's good, however I think jet lag is not going to be kind to me now because right now it's 8.30 Jakarta time but it's about, I don't know, 12.30 England time and I think my body clock is most definitely on England time right now, so even though I'm supposed to be falling asleep in the next three hours, will that happen? No, I very much doubt it. But my priority right now is getting some food, man. So whilst I was sleeping on the flight, I mean, I was sleeping for the most part, I think I literally rejected about three meals from the air hostess. She was like, do you want this food? I'll be like, nope. Do you want this food? Nope. So yeah, I rejected quite a few meals and now I'm kind of hungry. We've got our little mini fridge and all the things here, but I think you have to pay extra for all of that. And then, ba 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 ba. It's very futuristic. It kind of reminds me of, you know, the movie Passengers with Jennifer Lawrence and Chris Pratt. When I was walking through the lobby, I was like, I feel like I'm on a spaceship, which is really quite cool. Let's have a look in the bathroom. Ooh, that's a big shower. Oh, hello, that's me, hi. Wow. Very nice. Oh, it's quite a firm bed, not that that's a terrible thing. Um, by the way, this flight cost me £350. It was the cheapest one that I could find on the date that I was flying. And obviously there is this overnight layover in Jakarta, but it's really not too bad. I paid £30 for this hotel, which is not bad at all. And 
even adding 30 and 350, that was still cheaper than the next cheapest flight. And so I was like, well, I might as well. And then I can stay a night in a semi-fancy hotel. Well, I don't know how fancy this kind of hotel is for you guys, but for me, who normally stays in hostels, this is very fancy. <laughs> Good morning everybody, 7am and what a dream to wake up literally just to have it light outside. <laughs> it's not like that in England in winter so that's kind of a dream. I got to sleep at like 2am last night so not that bad considering, you know, jet lag sake. So I ended up getting about four and a half hours sleep which is, uh, it's not great but I am about to be on a plane for another four and a half hours so I'll probably sleep for that as well. I think I've decided that I'm gonna skip brekkie at the hotel this morning mostly because I just can't be bothered and I'm not hungry enough but I may get something once I get to the airport but I have about 45 minutes to get myself showered in this futuristic looking shower. I get myself ready and then it will be on to flight numero two. Here we go, I'm off again. This is what I look like. This is my look now for the next however many months. Goodbye, lovely room. I really enjoyed this. The, the things you can get for 30 quid in Indonesia. It's just great.